What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. Hope everyone is doing awesome and having a great day. Today I'm going over my new Nissan 240SX. Like most 240s, this is a project car for various reasons. As you can see, the body has your typical fender dings. I was trying to figure out if this could get replaced, but I'd rather just replace this one. This quarter panel seemed okay until I got right to here. So I don't know if a painter can repair this. Um, I really don't want to have to replace quarter panel. Um, but yeah, I don't know body work too well, so I really don't know what we can do with this right here. Definitely had a spoiler on it. Uh, one of the holes is still here. Um, it's been raining a lot lately in LA, so I was worried about the inside of the car getting wet, but usually that's not a problem. The rest of the trunk seems okay. Definitely needs paint. Rear end is actually not too bad. This quarter panel is okay. Just has kind of a small ding right up there. Uh, but other than that, it looks better than the other one for sure. This fender also has pretty big dent in there. However, I think this is much more easily repairable uh, than the other side. I'm still trying to decide whether I want to completely get a new fender for this side or not. Interior wise, the car is actually pretty good. Torn driver's seat, which is very typical. Um, but all the carpet is there and the rest of the interior. Of course, the back seat is littered with a bunch of extra parts that I got when I bought the car. But otherwise, not too bad for the inside. The car does have a nice working stereo though. Um, speakers, I think, are still stock, so they sound pretty bad. But it's nice to just have the stereo head unit in general. Um, I got a nice new steering wheel here from my friend Steven as well. I believe it's from Naruto. This dash is terrible, which I know is very typical for S13s. Looks like a T-Rex tried to pick this up a few times and failed. All right, so for the motor, let's get this popped up here. We have the Blacktop SR. Um, if you're lucky to have gotten one of these, I'm seeing a lot of KAs out there. Um, seems harder and harder to find an SR, so I feel very fortunate to have this. Just a quick overview of what I know so far about this car. I know it has a Megan Racing Manifold. It has CX Racing Aluminum Radiator. Some Greddy Pulleys on there. I think everything else is stock. Um, there's some off-brand Aluminum Radiator Overflow as well. I know commonly when these swaps are done, there's just components and parts that aren't being used. However, I am curious as to what these are for. If anybody at first glance knows, please let me know. It's just one connector that just happens to be dangling on its own. It may not be anything important, um, but everything seems to work fine. So I was just curious about that. The intercooler here is only being held up by this rusted wire here. Um, I definitely would like to do something about that as soon as possible. One of the first things I would love to do this car is replace the wheels. I don't know what these are, but they're incredibly ugly. There's not a lot of good four lug wheel options out there, um, so I can't really blame the previous owner, but these are just, yeah, these are just awful. These tires are extremely dry rotted. I'm surprised they didn't blow up on the drive over here, but I'll be doing a five lug swap immediately, so hopefully these won't be on here for too much longer. One part about this car that I really do not like is its lack of security. Someone tried to break into this, according to previous owners, you can see the lock cylinder is kind of not even in the right place. Um, it's completely jammed and so it won't even latch properly. So this hatch literally will just open. No key needed, nothing, it literally just opens and that is not good. The battery was relocated to the back here, um, the trays or bucket is really big for the battery itself, but it's been working pretty well. Again, some more random parts in here. It looks like some motor mounts, like a knuckle. Um, the spare tire, the original one is still in here. Um, and the original scissor jack came with the car as well. Privacy cover is hanging on by literally a thread. Um, this side is just missing that little ball that it latches on to. Just hooked up the battery so we can go in here. Maybe we can try to see how it starts. All right, I'm really hoping this works. Excellent, nice. The car itself seems to be running nicely. Um, however, we won't know for sure until we get an AFR wideband gauge in here. 
This is a little sketchy just because there's no shroud covering the fan. Um, I would like to get some shroud out of this box, but I'm worried about these coolant hoses. As you can see, the belts look a little wobbly and sketchy. I have some new ones, so I do want to get those changed out immediately as well. Go ahead and give it some throttle here. Alright, the car started up just fine, so I'm going to drive around in a bit. Forgot to mention, this also has a T28 turbo from an S15 in here, so slightly bigger turbo, but definitely have to get an ECU in tune immediately. Still waiting on a lot of parts to come in, but one of the first things I wanted to do was get rid of this guy right here. I really do not like this shift knob. I brought a brand new Mishimoto weighted shift knob here to replace that. Alright, so I just need to get the adapter on there. Alright, we'll get this screwed on too. It's making me feel some kind of way watching myself doing this. All right, I wasn't able to get it completely on there all the way, but it is on there. It feels much better than the last one, so I'm excited to use this. Gonna get a short shifter for this as soon as possible as well. Either an ISR or Megan Racing one. Oh, look, it's a little lizard. I think he's dancing. Yeah, this is just LA things. This is my friend Steven's car. Hi. I'm out there with his Instagram handle right here. It's at Critical Error. He has a very nicely built S13 with the Serbs. Yeah. On the multimeter? Steven is doing some work to go to an event tomorrow. Doesn't even know. This guy has no idea what he's doing. Yeah. Interior of this car is very nice as well. Low max. This is an E30 shell that he's been working on as well. He's been painting it, trying to get it ready. A lot of JDM and Euro here. Another E36 here. Another E30 down there. That's my daily IS right there. I just wanted to briefly go over what the market is looking like right now in LA and SoCal for these cars. Um, I know they've gone up a lot in value, but due to inflation, it's gone even worse. Generally in this area, I've seen these cars go from anywhere from about 12 um, to 14K, almost minimum, um, at least 10K. And even at 10K, um, you're gonna have various issues with the car. I was fortunate enough to get this one around that 10K price, but I still remember when SRs were around $2,000 at the most, so it does feel incredibly wrong even paying this much for the car. Um, however, I feel as though the value of it is gonna continue to increase and it's just better to get one now before it's even more expensive later. I just wanted to thank you guys for stopping by and watching the video. This is my first time doing this, so I apologize if I seem awkward, please bear with me. Um, but hopefully I'll have a lot more in store and more good content for you guys in the future. He's stealing my ECU. Got him. Had it all on video, bro. You're not getting away. <laughs> Look directly at the camera. <laughs>